welcome back to another episode of the Sim Talks. I'm your host, Rashad. No, I would never get on my knees and kiss someone's feet, but God damn it, I'll suck her toes. Today's episode is a special one. Uh, it's one of the it's one of the one things that I've done and I will never do it again. And that is a hotel link up. Now, my experience with the hotel link up is not the experience that you think. It's my worst experience. Thinking about this story just pisses me off. All right, so um, let's get into it. So, first of all, I don't know if if everyone or if everyone has had some type of story when it comes to a hotel link up. Um, I just hope it's not like mine. I uh went through like a really long dry spell for like a while. Dry spell as in like I wasn't talking to women, right? I got a relationship. First year, didn't speak to nobody, saying to myself, because that was the whole purpose. I, there was no purpose of me, like, you know what I'm saying, having a whole phase or some shit like that. I think whole phase is one of the, the dumbest shits I've ever heard in my life, truthfully. When people tell me, Deshaun, you need to have a whole phase, I want to spit in their face and tell them to, to literally eat my ass, bro. I don't, I don't know if eat my ass is the right word. I think I, I want to tell them, shut, just basically shut the fuck up. I, I just don't want to hear, you, you have to have a whole face. Shit so yeah, my first year was off, and the second year was whatever. But um, this year I've been more active, even though I haven't been proactive. As in, like, I'm not having sex. I'm just speaking more because I'm trying to get my shots up, just to see if I still got it. What I mean by that is. Let me, let me break that down. When you play basketball, you find out where your hot zones are at and certain spots that you need to work your game on. You feel me? So when I shoot shots, it's not for it to work. It's just to see that I still got it. You feel me? But the thing is, well, I don't know if I really got it. I just think it's that I have locks and I'm light-skinned. I feel like that just overpowers a lot of things and it helps out that I have followers, but at the same time, I don't want to talk to somebody that knows I have followers. Like when people ask me like, what do I do for a living? Or like, like, what do I like do for like fun? I never bring up social media. I bring up like random shit and people ask me what I do for a living. I always say I flip patties at Arby's or I'm a janitor or I'm a construction worker, but I don't actually construction work. I just, I just watch or like I scrub toilets at a very fancy restaurant. I I scrub toilets at Ruth Chris, you know, something exotic. You feel me? Like, like something like that. So I've been recently on this past year. I just, I just DM women just to see what happens. Um, some women respond. Some women say, ew, hell no, you fucking bum. And I'm like, oh shit. All right. And then there's some girls that fall for everything that I say. Right. So how this hotel link-up story happened was through DMs, right? Like I said, these shots are not supposed to always hit. I want them to miss so I know what I can do better, right? But I've messed up, and I shot my shot at a girl that's local. Usually, I shoot my shots in Cali, uh, West Coast, maybe even Midwest. We're kind of pushing it when I go to, like, North Carolina, and I start going a little bit up north, and I go to New York. Because now we're like looking at women that are I can like see, you know, like we're pushing levels now that I don't want. But this is a hometown girl, right? She like a cool two hours for me. So so anything can happen, right? And I just didn't know how I felt felt about that. Right. So um I shot my shot at her and she responded about in about like an hour. Now the reason that her me shooting my shot at her was a little bit different was because this girl was like MIA. She went to a local high school that I went to. Um, like she was around the area, but she was very MIA. She always had a boyfriend. No one really knew about her. No one really talked to her. She didn't really talk to people. She didn't go out and like any of those type of things, right? So it seemed like a really like green flag type of girl, right? So um, I shot my shot because she posted on Instagram. It was like a first time posting in like months, right? And she looked good, so I shot my shot. And I usually send the same type of lines each time, right? I just kind of say them in different ways. 
And um, she said she says something about an hour. And I was at the gym with my man's when I sent it. We left the gym, and I was like, "Oh shit!" She responded, right? She what she say? She actually said something I've never heard before. She was like, "How many times have you done this?" And I was like, "What the fuck?" What the fuck? I was like, "What do you mean?" She was like, "Seems like you're a pro at this." And I was like, "Wow, that must be, that means I'm getting like a lot better with this, right?" Now, remember, all these girls that I usually send DMs to, they're out of the area of me, so I I just flirt. And then I'm done because I don't want none of these girls. I just don't. Like, I, I literally just do this shit for fun. You feel me? Is that bad? Is that toxic? Probably. But it, just bear with me, right? So she asked me, like, I'm a pro with this. And I'm like, nah, it's my first time ever doing it. Like, I, realistically, the line that I used was my first time ever using this line because I always rearrange some certain things. And I say certain different things. And, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it's it's always different. So I was like. Ah, right. And I was able to get her number that same type of moment. And we started texting, right? Everything seemed cool. Um, she seemed like a sweetheart. She really did. Uh, she seemed like she was she's a year older than me. She has um I don't like this girl anymore. So I'm trying to give her like good praise, you know, before I even get into the nitty-gritty. Um she had a lot of green flags. That's what I'm going to say. Like, her, my issue with her was that there were so many green flags that it was a problem. As in, like, she had so many good things about her. She, it didn't seem like there was anything wrong with her. That it was scary because it was like, what is wrong with you? You feel me? Like, like what is wrong with you? There has to be something. I kept on talking to my man. I was like, bro, like, why is there so many green flags? She's like, yeah, there has to be, like, a really big red flag. And I'm like, it has to be. I finally figured out it was. Clinginess. Now. The clinginess is from the lack of parents, right? She grew up with her grandparents. No problem, because I used to live with my grandparents. Like, I understand the pain when it comes to that. You feel me? But she had clinginess. A lot of her past relationships were literally, like, her and her boyfriend, they hung out every single day. Like, like every single day. My past relationship, that's what we did. And that's where the issue came to about. I'm, I'm very knowledgeable of that now, though. I understand, like, where her and I went wrong. We hung out too much. We needed to find things that we like to do without each other because everything was with each other. So when she said that she hung up with her boyfriend 24 seven, I already was like, ah, uh, that, mm, I don't really like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's whatever. Right. I was like, maybe that's the big red flag, but it's cool. Right. Now this girl told me that remember in the first episode, I said that a lot of people knew who I was. This girl said she had no idea who I was. And to me, that was very surprising. Right. Not to seem like all cocky, but the thing is like, I was going to even her school's games and not if I was not playing in it, like people, I, I knew a lot of people at her high school. Like I'm talking about like a lot, like her friend group is how I met her. You feel me? So like I knew of her. I just didn't know who she was. So when she said she didn't know me, I, I kind of felt like she was kind of like lying, but it's cool. Like there's no point in that. Right. So when she said that she doesn't know me and she didn't know I do social media and everything like that, like I was like, oh, this is perfect. Like, like I get like a whole free, like. A lot of the girls that I DM, they know me off of social media because they either follow me, whatever the case may be. So, like, I'm like, oh, this is a clean slate, right? All right, bet, right? We go on this thing with a clear mind. The one thing my friend, not the same friend I went to the gym with, but the, the guy I go to school with, the one thing that he keeps on telling me is I need to go into these situations and I need to have a, a clear mind, a fresh mind. Because what I do is I always look, I, I always compare. And that is the issue is I'm comparing, right? So I need to come in this with a clear mind. Now, remember that. Remember these words I'm saying, a clear mind, okay? Because that's going to be very important in the story. So I was going in with a clear mind, and I was telling her, like, listen, like, I want you to know um, we can, like, talk a lot, but I need you to remember, like, I, even though you don't know me off of social media, I still do social media. I'm trying to collab with women. Um, in, in vast of ways, not as in collabing, like only fans, but no, like collabing as in like, if they have a podcast or they do like social media content, I want to do that because I want to get a bigger women fan base because women are way more supportive than men. That's just facts, bro. It, it just is, you know? So I was like, you know, like, I just need you to understand, like, I'm constantly always working. I'm always recording. Like, it's just stuff like that. She's like, yeah, I understand. Like, I'm always working too. I'm like, bet this is working out perfectly. This, this seems like this could like go somewhere. Right. I was fucking wrong. All right. So look. So, um, we, before I DM'd her, there was a girl I DM'd last week. Cause she asked me to be on her podcast, right? 
So before we even started talking, it was already locked that the like the, the next week I was going to do a podcast with her, right? So when me and the girl are talking, I'm I'm trying to say like, hey, listen, like this is what it is, like you know, da, da, da. she's like, yeah, this is cool, like don't worry about it, everything's good, all right. But so I tell her the next day, hey, listen, like this weekend I'm gonna go do a podcast with a girl. She's like, okay, that's fine. I'm like, all right, but it's at her house though, and she was like, oh, I'm like, what? What's up? Like, what's the issue? Now I can understand why it's an issue that I'm going to her house, but at the same time, like this this girl has a solidified podcast, like it's like in her garage. It has a nice background. So, like, it's not like I'm just doing this to be, like, a hoe. Like, no, like, I, I was going here. This is where she does her recording. I got to go to her house. If someone were to do a podcast with me, either they could do it from home because I have a website, or they could do it right next to me. Either way, whatever you feel comfortable with is what we can do. You know what I'm saying? It's a podcast. You feel me? So, she was like, I don't really feel comfortable with that. And, honestly, she kind of crashed out. She went off of me. So I don't respect her. I'm like, damn, right? Thing is, my patient level is really low, so I kind of just let her ramble, and I just didn't really care. Like I, like you just came in my life, like you, you, you're not boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, like we just we just speaking, right? But the thing is, like you, I told you I do social media. Like I'm gonna do like content woman and shit, right? All right, cool. So after things kind of like just kind of smithered out, everything went back to normal. Um, but she constantly was talking about me getting women gratification so she'll go to my tiktok and she'll see women commenting about oh he's fine oh he looks good oh this and that right now when i do social media and i do tiktok i don't post like me with a shirt off i don't post me shaking my hips i don't post me dancing i don't post me doing light skin type of activities as in like light skin face and the lighting i don't do those type of things i don't do any type of thirst traps whatsoever i literally put on wigs and act like characters I make skits. I make films. Like, I don't do anything. So if women find me attractive throughout the the wigs and, and the, the acting like women and, and the craziness, then that's on them. That's not on me. I don't do anything to get attention. I just, I do videos to receive attention. That, if that, does that, if that makes sense, right? All right. So she would constantly always say like, oh, yeah, you probably going to go talk to your hoes. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves now. Like, what the fuck are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? But you probably gonna go talk to your hoes. You probably got hoes. You probably gonna talk to this. You probably do that. Da, da, da. She actually didn't believe how like inexperienced I was when it came to sex. She she didn't believe it. Like like I I have bougie dick. I really do. Like I don't just sling out. You know what I'm saying? I don't just have fun. Like I really like stay to myself when it comes to that. Right. So, uh. Yeah, like, she kept on just throwing jabs and jabs and jabs, and it was always just weird, right? It just seemed like she needed, like, something, right? But she always talked about, like, us hanging out and doing these type of things, and I was like, I'm just busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, right? Because I am busy, you feel me? All right, so the podcast day comes, right? The podcast day comes. I, listen, I it's 14 minutes into this podcast, and I haven't even got to the fucking hotel yet, right? Podcast day comes, and... I tell her, like, listen, hey, um, I'm about to record, uh, but I'm going to go... Um, what's my call go over to her house later to do this podcast right and the podcast is out it was it was a great podcast she's religious as hell like she does like god type of like podcast like it ain't no like what's your body count no it's like god type shit you feel me should i have cussed and said god it's like god type of stuff you feel me all right so um i text her she doesn't text me back at all whatever right i do my videos there's no interruptions this is great okay um and then I'm getting ready to go, right? Now, I'll tell you my outfit. It was Burks. It was, no, 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 no. I wore Yeezys. I wore jeans. And I wore, like, a nice little flannel with, like, a scarf, right? But on top of my head, because it looked kind of fly, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, 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 you know what I'm saying? It looked kind of fly. I said that outfit. I was just like, hey, I'm just letting you know, like, I'm just wearing this fit, you know, to, like, obviously show you, like, I'm not on the whole shit, right? She doesn't respond. Bet that. Feel me? I get in my car, bro. It's a 35-minute drive with a little bit of traffic. That said, I get in my car. I don't really care if you cry. I'm bumping that Uzi. Like, Uzi's crazy right now, right? Still no text. Cool, right? Get to the house. Hey, I'm letting you know I'm here. Still no text. Damn. All right. She don't fuck with me no more. Fuck it. <laughs> it happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it just happens. You feel me? All right. So I go do the podcast. I'm there for about an hour. We record for about 35 minutes. We talk for a little bit. I'm out of that joint in an hour. Text her. Hey, I'm just letting you know I left, right? Boom, right? I even called her. No answer. Damn, this girl blocked me. 
Like, I'm talking like, she, she fucking hate me. All right, cool. Get back in my car. Because the thing is, I've been through so much when it comes to women that, like, if she doesn't mess with me no more, that is on her. Like, that's how I feel. Like, it's just on you. You feel me? So, I'm driving. I don't, I'm listening to that joint again. I don't really care if you. She calls me, right? I'm like, fuck it, bro. I'll talk to her. You know what I'm saying? I answered me, yo, right? I'm, I'm lit. I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? Let me. You seem like really happy after leaving a girl's house. All right. Now, like all like my like happiness is just gone. <laughs> I'm just sad again because like you just messed up my entire like I, I've never been high before, but you just messed up my high. That's how I feel right now. Right. So I'm like, all right, bro. Like, OK, here we go. And I'm like, no, bro. Like, I just listened to music. Like, everything was cool. She was like, no, I just think, like, something happened at, at the girl's house. And like, shit, bro. Then something happened then. I literally just, like, I'm at a point now when it comes to the, just, like, girls that I'm not, like, taking, like, full-on serious. Like, it's just on some cool shit. Like, fuck, yeah. No, you're right. Like, like she needed so much reinsurance that I was so, like, tired of it. Like, she constantly asked about women, 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 women. And I'm like, yo, I don't think you understand. Like, I deadass don't do shit else besides be in this house. Like, if anyone ever calls me on FaceTime, I'm always in the house. I'm never nowhere else. I'm always in the house. You possibly might see me outside, but I'm probably going to go grocery shopping or I'm probably leaving class. But regardless, I'm always in the house. You feel me? So like she like when she keeps on like, re- I'm like, no, listen, nah, there ain't no girls. Blah, blah, blah. So when she said it, I was just like, bro, you haven't talked to me all day. Fuck it. Yeah. Nah, so we did. We, we shit, bro. We cuddled. We watched a movie. We didn't even do the podcast. We watched a movie. Shit, man. We, 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 we drank some Sprite, even though I don't like soda. Uh, uh, we walked her doll. We talked about her life goals. We did all that in an hour. Yep, we did all that in an hour. Like, come on, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that shit just really threw off my day. Am I an asshole for that? Absolutely, but I don't give a fuck. Like, I just don't, you know. All right. So after she rambles and I ramble and we go back and forth, I'm just like, you know, let me be the, let me be the bigger person. You know what? Listen, I couldn't come back to my hometown and like this weekend. Let's just hang out then, right? And she like smiles. She's like, bet, right? I'm like, bet. Okay. Now I'm cleaning my kitchen. She falls asleep on FaceTime, right? If you are comfortable enough to fall asleep on me on FaceTime, I'm going to respect that you feel comfortable, right? And this is where I fucked up at. So I went to sleep as well while still on FaceTime, okay? And I think she got very used to that. And that's where I went wrong because I shouldn't have done that. So, now the story gets really good. Yep. So, it's the day before I leave to go to the hotel. Okay. Or to go uh, see her. Okay. And she was like, where are you going to stay at? And I was like, probably with uh, my family, but what's up? And she was like, you want to get a hotel? We can split 50-50. Right? I'm like, fuck, I've never been to a hotel with a girl before. Like, this sounds like, I I don't know. Like, like what do you what do you think about when, when a girl mentions a hotel like you just you automatically think you get what i'm saying like you think that you just think you feel me so my mind is just like i'm not taking you serious anymore because you you want to go to a hotel already like it was that easy like what the fuck even we only been talking for like two weeks so you you ready just to fuck it you know what i'm saying like what all right yeah no sure we could do a hotel but fuck it you know what i'm saying whatever like we're gonna 50 50 but say that right I said, look, we can go get food before, um, and, and we could call it a day. We just go back to the hotel and whatever, right? My plan was to go back home, go see my mother, get my hair done, go see my friend's game. That was at 7 o'clock at night, and then go get food with her and go back to the hotel. That was the plan. My friend's game did not go through. So I literally was free from 11 a.m. to whatever time we check out. I personally did not want to hang out with someone that long that I have no idea who it is. But clear mind, I went into it and I said, fuck it. Let's do it. Right? Let's try it. Fuck it. Clear mind. I keep on comparing. Let's stop comparing. Let's do more like con- contrasting. I don't know if that was the right terminology. I feel like that was just really stupid. Anyways, so I get I get back to my hometown. I leave my house at like five o'clock in the morning. To get back to my hometown around like eight. I'm getting my hair done from about nine to eleven. Now, my mom did it really so did it so quickly that I was only there from about nine to ten twenty, ten thirty. 
I text her and I'm saying, hey, listen, the place I want to take you to. Now, this place is a very bougie ass place, right? But the thing is, I feel like as a man, I'm supposed to take care of a woman. So I could have said we can go to IHOP, but I wanted to take her to like a nice little brunch place. That place closes at 2 p.m. It's very crucial. Okay. Now, I've been saving this spot for somebody. But I said, you know, I'm going to use the spot for you because maybe maybe this shit will, maybe I need to have a clear mind and maybe we can make this shit work. So I had a clear mind. And I'm so glad it didn't go through because I'm going to, I'm, listen. So I texted him like, hey, listen, like, you know, the place closes at two. I'm going to slide to you right now. It's about a 30 minute drive. If I pick you up, we'll get there by 12. Right. She says, I'm not ready yet. Right. I'm like, okay. Well, listen, just let me know. I'm going to go see my grandmother's. I got two grandmothers that live in the same city. So it works out. Or the same county. So it works out. Right? So I'm like, all right, bet. Just let me know. Feel me? Now, she knew I was coming here. I've I've driven two hours to get back to my hometown. Got my hair done. She knew all this. So the fact that she's not ready yet was already pissing me off. But it's cool. It's cool. Clear mind. Clear mind. Remember, clear mind. Right? All right. So so I slide and saw my grandmother. Then I saw my other grandmother at her job. Right? And I talked to my grandmother for a good amount of time. And I talked to my other grandmother for a grandma, and I, I realized I was like, God damn it. Oh my God, it's 11.45. The fuck? So I'm, I'm about to text her. She calls me. She's like, hey, um, I'm ready. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm about to slide right now. Right? Okay, cool. So I told my, I'm told my grandma, like, hey, grandma, listen, um, I'm about to leave, but can I talk to you real quick? She's like, what's up? I was like, I just got this weird feeling in my gut that I should not go through with this. Right? I just feel like I shouldn't do this. She was like, well, if you feel it, you shouldn't do it. I'm like, I know, but I just feel like I've been, I haven't dated in so long and I haven't gone on a date. Like, I just need to do something just to, just to, you know what I'm saying? Like, just get through. Like, she's like, yeah, I get that. I, maybe you should just go in this with a clear mind, clear mind, and, and just maximize this as much as you can. I'm like, yeah, like, I'm just going to do it. Right. So, all right, grandma, I'm going to see you later. She texts me. I, I look at my phone, I'm like, yo, hold on. She calls me, right? I'm like, hold on, grandma, give me a second. I'm like, yo, what's up? She's like, hey, um, I just want to let you know, like, my nail broke. The fuck? Oh, okay. The hell does that mean? Right? Uh, so I need to go get it fixed. What the fuck? What? What do, what do you mean you get your fucking nail fixed? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, hold on. I'm with my grandma. I'll call you back, dude. Right? So I'm texting her while I'm talking to my grandmother. She's like, yeah, I just need to get my nails fixed. It'd be like a quick fix. I said, all right, bad. Just, just let me know, like. I'll just stay at my grandma's job, like, it's cool. Like, just let me know when it's over. You know what I'm saying? She's like, no, I was actually thinking that you could take me. What the f- All right. <sighs> Sorry, I had to take a sip of my water. I was like, all right, whatever, right? And I was like, how long is it going to take? She's like, five to ten minutes. Cool. Whatever. I'm coming right now, right? But I'm letting her know, hey, we're not going to be able to make this place anymore. She's like, yeah, that's fine. All right, whatever. Right now, I'm a very, very hangry person, so I'm already upset that I've been up since five and I haven't ate yet, and it's twelve. So like, I'm already getting hangry. I'm getting impatient, but clear mind, clear mind, clear mind. I drive to her, scoop her up. Right, she gets in my car. You know that awkward little like first time, like we don't really know what to talk about. Da, da, da. I'm like, how long is it? How, how far is it? And she was like, you just got to take a left or right, a left and a right. You go straight, backwards, U-turn, whatever the case may be, right? All right, so I get in my car, we're driving. I'm like, hey, I'm just trying to, like, break the awkwardness. I just make some couple of jokes, whatever, and we're already there, okay? I'm like, oh, shit, there's a, there's a UPS here? Oh, I got some packages I got to return. Let, let, this works out perfectly. So by the time you finish your packages, I'll, um, or by the time I, I finish my packages, you, your nails will be done. She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, it's like, all right, better say that, right? I get out. It's a long line. I'm like, damn. She gonna be waiting for me outside. This is not a good look for me. Damn. All right. Well, let's just see if we can get this. So it took me about like 15 minutes to even get my packages. I'm like, damn. She's probably outside waiting for me. Open up the door. There is no girl. Right. I'm like, what the fuck? All right. So I look inside. I'm like, oh, she's still inside. Oh, bet that. I'm about to go to my car real quick. We everything cool right now. Everything's working out. I just did my packages. She's getting her nails done real quick. We gonna get some food. Whatever. I'm on my phone. I watch a 25 minute video. 25 minutes. And I realized I, I zoned out so bad that I forgot that I'm waiting for somebody. I'm like, what the 25 minutes? She said five to 10 minutes. She then texts me and says, 
hey, I'm just letting you know, like they're repaint, they're repainting my entire nails. Your entire fucking nails? What the fuck? Clear mind. I calm the fuck down. I watch another YouTube video. It's 17 minutes. 17 minutes go by. I'm like, this girl is still not here. What is going on? So I FaceTime my mans. I'm like, the same guy that was at the gym. I said, bro, I'm out here waiting for her to get her nails done, yo. And he's like, you took her there? I was like, yes. He was like, why? I'm like, bro, I don't know. But that was the moment since her house was only two minutes away. Like, this is going to sound like it. But see, that's what I'm saying. I'm not an asshole. I should have left her. I should want to go get food. Like, what the? Bro, I'm not your, like, I'm not your boyfriend. I'm trying to be nice. But you got me out here waiting almost an hour for you to, for you to what? Like, get your nails done? What the fuck? You feel me? She come. So I'm still on Facebook. Man. She's coming right now. She's, I'm like, I'm like, all right, bro. I got to go. I got to go. So I hung up. She opens the door, right? She was like, whoo, man, that took forever. My mind, I wanted to cuss her out. Yeah, I fucking took forever. I'm like, yeah, nah, it, it did take forever, but that shit took so long. This girl told me, she looked at my eyes. She was like, yeah, I expect you to come inside and wait for me, bro. I, I don't know. That that just gives me the ick. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, oh, I give you the ick. Already? Because I didn't I didn't go inside and wait for you. She's like, yeah, the TV was on there. You could have watched TV in there. Are you fucking kidding me? What? What? I look at her, I'm just like, yeah, that's my fault. I, I didn't know you want me in there, man. Like, I'm just, just trying to have a clear, I'm just trying to have a clear mind. <laughs> just have a clear mind. And um, I was like, what do you want to eat now? You feel me? What do you want to eat? And she's like, um, I don't know, you choose. I'm like, uh, no, I, I'm going to need you to choose because if I choose, we're just going to go to Dollar General. I'm just going to get a bag of chips because at this point, I don't even care what I eat, you know? So, like, um, um, I want chicken. I said, all right, cool. Yeah, nah. Uh, uh, we we can get chicken. We can get chicken by the 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 homeless man behind the store. It's probably eating that. Sh- I mean, we could get chicken anywhere. Where the fuck? You, we can go to Popeyes. We can get some chicken. We can go to Chick Fil A and get some chicken. We can go to we can go to the fuck it. We could go to um a, a, a Chinese spot and get chicken. Like, where do you want to go to get chicken? All right. She was like. Let's go to um. Let's go to Chili's. <laughs> I said you want to go to fucking what? <laughs> Yo, okay. Now, to give you a little backstory, I fucking hate Chili's. Chili's is fucking terrible food. But I said, you know what? Let's go to Chili's, right? Chicken is at three. Okay, so we have time to uh, spare, right? We go to Chili's. We sit down. And this girl tells me um, that already the waitress is checking me out. And I wanted to tweet the fuck out because I'm like, yo, I don't care about nothing else besides food. Now, I'm looking for the three for ten. Three for ten kind of whack. I'm like, oh, shit, but they got a chicken sandwich now? Bet that, right? I'm like, bet, yeah, no, nah, I, I like a chicken. I'll, I'll get a little chicken sandwich. I thought this girl was finna just like be like kind of weird and get something but the reason i was considering the chicken sandwich is because she said i said what are you gonna get she was like um i'm gonna get the chicken fingers and fries <laughs> okay yeah yeah you can get the chicken fingers and fries all right um since we're not, we're just not taking this day serious uh, i'm gonna get the chicken sandwich then yep for sure all right the food comes out we're eating all right now actually hold on before we start eating, we're, I'm doing the icebreaker questions, right? Once again, this is another moment of me that I should have left. I should have left when I had the chance. I should have left right then and there. But I did not because I'm not an asshole. I was just left to stranded. I asked her a simple question because we just kept on talking about me, 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 me. I don't want to talk about me. I want to talk about you. So let's talk about you. I said, hey, what do you do for fun, right? That's like, this is like a broad question. Like, like the people that are listening right now. I want to just, just think to yourself, what do you do for fun? It doesn't matter what you do. Just what do you do for fun, right? So I asked her, I said, what do you do for fun? What do you like to do for fun? What is your enjoyment? Um, I don't know. Uh, no, like, like, what do you, what do you like to do for fun? Um, well, 
my friends don't really like to do this stuff. No, no, no. Why are you bringing up your friend? What do you like to? Do? I didn't understand how this question was this hard. I, I was, I thought I was saying it pretty simply. No, what do you do for fun? Um, I like going out and working out. No, 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 no. Would it not, not? Where do you like to go for fun? No, no, no. Or, or, or what is good for you? What do you like to do for fun? You feel me? Like I, I, I thought it was a really simple question. I like to draw. Okay. Okay. You like to draw. Oh, like, yeah. I like to sing. Okay. Here we go. Now we're now we're going somewhere. Now we're going. What do you like to do for fun? Oh man, I like to go outside and I like to um play sports. As in, like, I like to do like I'll play like even anything from cornhole to kickball to sharks and minnows, like whatever. I also like to play video games. I like to uh I like to uh uh shoot, man. I like to make skits. I like to write down like idea. Like I like to do all that stuff. Like, oh, okay. That seems like really fun. Yeah. Why was it such an issue for you to figure out like why you um because I didn't think those are things that were like really fun. I just like to do them. Okay. And now when she was talking, I'm like, oh, right. You expect me to be your fun because you constantly hung out with your boyfriends, and that is what was fun to you and for you that was what's fun so i'm your fun oh no 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 no. i already want to say check please and the food hasn't even came yet but i was like okay i this is a setup yep this is a fucking setup we haven't even got to the hotel yet think about this i've just said all these things and we haven't got to the hotel yet right okay so let's get our food we started eating she's eating that thing up right Chicken fingers and fries with mac and cheese. That is what you get on your first date. Fuck it. Right? This girl says out loud. Um, this feels a lot better when I'm high. I, I almost fucking lost it. I almost fucking lost it. What? What did you just say? Yeah, no, this food. Last time I remember eating this food, it was only good when I was high. Yeah, no, nah, this girl's fucking crazy. Okay, so you you chose this spot, and you only liked it because you were high. All right, so now I know you like getting high. Great, 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 great. You like getting high. Great. You don't you don't like that? Mm-mm. Oh, I don't like people vaping. I don't like people hookah in. Hookah in. I don't like people uh, gassing. No, I don't. Um, I'm a very sober cat. I want my girl to be sober as well. Just personally, I just that's what I prefer, right? Um, I can make exceptions, but uh most likely probably not. All right, cool. Yeah, no, I'm just ready to go to the hotel. Let's go back to the hotel. All right, cool. All right. While we're leaving, I literally tell her, I'm like, listen, I just drove two and a half hours, um, barely any sleep. Um Oh my god, I forgot to tell y'all. The night of me leaving, so so I left on a Sunday, I think. So the night of Saturday going into Sunday, right? This is why this is why I didn't have any sleep. This is exactly why I didn't have any sleep. The reason I didn't have any sleep is because this girl literally like was nagging at me about she was like, because I literally was like, okay, look, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. And she's like, bet. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna talk to you later. She's like, why are you about to hang up? And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, can we fall asleep on FaceTime? I'm like, no, like I need my phone to charge because. I I I I I'm I'm about to drive in a couple hours. Well, just use your iPad. I'm I don't want to use my iPad. I I, I want to go to sleep so I I can go. Well, use your laptop. No, I I don't. No, listen. Why are you trying to like piss me off? No, listen. I just want to go to. Sleep. Are you really gonna do that to me right now? Like, are, this is very key in the hotel's like story. Remember, this is very key. Her saying, "Are you really gonna like do that right now?" Like, I'm like, listen. Yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to hang up and wow. Okay, just shot. Do do fine. Whatever. So. I, I told her, like, hey, listen, when we get back to the hotel, I'm probably going to go to sleep for just a little bit because I just need to get my juices flowing. Right? I just yeah, I just need to, you know what I'm saying, whatever the case may be, right? So we get back to the hotel, right? I got Nins. Nins is nigga eat, nigga sleep. That was probably the best quote I've ever heard in my life. It's from a um, it's from a person in my life, right? So nigga eat, nigga sleep, right? So I got the Nins, and I just had lack of sleep of driving, so I just want to go to sleep. All right, cool. So we get to the hotel. She opens up the door. Right now, I'm I'm the man, but I'll, I'll usually open up the door. But she opened the door. All right, cool. She's walking straight to the hotel. Fuck. 
yo, your bag's in the car. <laughs> like, where are you going? You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm like, yo, your bag. She's like, oh, I, ex- I expect you to get that for me. Okay, yeah, I have no problem doing that, but it's just the fact that you just, like, <laughs> there's no, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, okay, what the fuck? All right, well, okay, fuck it. We're at the hotel, bro. Like, I just want to go to sleep. All right. So we get in that joint. I got the bags in my hands. She's already inside. She's, like, signing shit. She's about to crash out on the front desk, people. I'm like, whoa, what's going on, right? She's like, um, <laughs> she's like, they're, ch- uh, hold on, let me do this. Um, they're trying to charge me an extra 50 for what? <laughs> what are you charging? The front desk, oh, it's for uh, a deposit. I said, oh, it's a deposit. Like, you'll get your money back. Oh, I didn't know you get your money back. I thought you were just about to charge me an extra 50. I'm like, no, no, you, you get your money back. I said, what, what, what is the waiver and stuff? She's like, oh, no smoking inside the building. Oh, bet that. Yeah, that's easy. I don't, I don't smoke. And she don't have anything on her, so we're good, right? Yeah, sign that joint, bang, right? If you get caught smoking, not only do you lose your deposit, you lose the money that you already spent, and you get kicked out. All right, cool. Easy. Money. We get to the hotel. I go in the bathroom immediately, take my pants off, like my jeans. I put sweats on, put my hoodie on. I'm going to sleep. I'll be right back. All right, so I go to sleep. I go to sleep. I don't know how long of sleep I was, but all I know is the fucking fire alarm starts going off, right? And it's like one of the loudest ringing noises I've ever fucking heard. But the fire alarm is going off. I'm like, I wake up in such an arouse, like, like what the fuck is going on, right? Now, I'm black. What does that mean since I'm black? All right, when you see a dog with no chain, you're like, oh, hell nah. Like, you, you start to look for the, what one, you start looking for the owner, and two, you start to gain more space. If you, if you're, with you're a, being a black person, when you see a bunch of people running, you don't know what you're running away from, but you got to run with them. You feel me? So, like, I, you, I run with them. When you're black and you hear the fire alarm, the first thing you're going to fucking do is put your shoes on, get your most valuable thing, and get the fuck out. Because the, the goddamn building's on fire, right? When I wake up, she's not in a chair. She's not in the bed. I see her at the fucking wall smirking. The fuck is you smirking at? The building's on fire. We need to move now. You feel me? Like, there is no, like, hesitation. No, we need to leave now. Like, the building's on fire. Feel me? All right. So now that the building's on fire and shit, I'm like, yo, we got to go. Like, get your phone and everything like that. Put my Yeezys on. I wasn't a flex. It's like. I, I feel like that was like very intentional for me to say Yeezy. Put my shoes on, open up the door. I open up the door and I see a lot of good white people just staring at me. Good white people. There's a difference between good white people, bad white people, and white people. There's a difference. There's there's I have a lot of good white people friends. Good white people. I'm talking about great white people. But you know there's a difference between good white people, bad white people white people like karen's type of thing i see from my right in front of me and to my left all just white people looking at me i'm like the fuck are y'all looking at me for the building's on fire we need to move like like everyone urgency 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 like why is the building not on fire? like and then once my brain started to slow down on what's going on in life i realized the fire alarm was not going off in the hallway the fire alarm was not going off in the building. It was just our room. Now, when you first wake up and you're in distraught, like you're in distraught, you're distraught, you're distressed, like you don't know what's going on. Your brain doesn't really like move as fast as your body is, right? So I'm like confused on like, why is the fire alarm only going off in our room? What the fuck? This shit don't make no sense, right? I see the front desk guy running to my room. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm like, I, I don't know what's going on. I, you, your, your guess is as best as mine. Like, I don't know idea. Like, is, y'all, what, is, is there a fire in there? I'm like, shit, we, we better go find out. I don't know. Like, let's go find out. We open the door. No fire, right? I'm like, yeah, no, there was no fire in here. He's like, were y'all smoking? Hell no. The fuck? No, we ain't my smoking. She was like, it was my, um, my, my, uh, hair strainer. I'm like, what? A hair strainer did that? Really? God damn. You must have burnt the shit out your hair. But I would have smelt it when I woke up, right? What? I'm just like confused now, right? He's like, can I see it? Can I see the hair strainer? She's like, no, it's in my bag. You're not going to go through my bag. I'm like, damn. 
Are you sure you did? He's like, all right, all right, fine. So he walks out. And I walk out with him. Because I'm just confused. I'm just walking the hallway. I'm like, a hair strainer? Right? And the thing is, I couldn't stand that fucking ringing noise, right? So I go sit down in the main lobby with the good white people, right? And I just feel guilty. But I'm also confused, like, yo, a hair strainer did that? Like, damn. I thought it was a strong hair strainer, right? Guy gave me a thumbs up. He's like, hey, man, everything is good now. I apologize to all them good white people. And I said, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do this to you. Thank you guys for your patience. I went back in that room just confused. My face is just hurting with my eyebrows just doing like the scrunch face. I lay down in that bed. My back's turned to her. She leans over and she's like, you know I'm still here, right? And I'm like, I roll over and I'm like, Yo, can you do me a favor? She's like, well, I was like, can you go get that hair straightener? And she just started laughing. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what's so funny. Can you go get that hair straightener for me? Because I just, I just need to see it. Like, Desha, you and I both know what it was. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, no. Wait. Yo, were you smoking? She just says, <laughs> you know what it was. I'm like, yo, did you have a fucking e-cigarette in this bitch? Like, yo, did you, did you vape? Did you really like, did, yo, yo, did you really vape in this bitch? Why are you taking it so serious? No, 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 no. Did you almost just waste my bread because you wanted to get a buzz? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Shy, you're taking it too deep. You're acting like, she said, I'm acting like a principal right now. She said she felt interrogated. Are you, yo, are you gaslighting me right now? Yo, yo, because you were wrong, right? I make you feel like you're getting interrogated. She gets up. She goes in the bathroom. She sits there in that bathroom stall or bathroom toilet, whatever the fuck this is called. And I think with her past, she expected me to run to her, be Prince Charming, and be like, everything's okay, babe. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. I'm not mad anymore. <laughs> no, I was fucking pissed off. What the fuck? I'm not going in that bitch. Hell no. Nah. You going to cry in that joint by yourself. Facts. The fuck? So, 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 then she comes back out the bathroom, right? She throws her tissue in the trash can, right? I'm like, so, why were you crying in there? I wasn't crying. Oh, so, the water wasn't running, the toilet didn't ring, so, therefore, you were just in that joint just looking at paintings? Yeah. So, why were you crying? I just don't think you'll ever accept me for, for me wanting to smoke. Hmm. Interesting. I just think it's funny how you almost just risked my money on the First fucking date? How the hell can I? If you're willing to wit risk my money already, how the fuck am I gonna trust you in a relationship? Right? I was like, no, because you could have like got the like you like it could have been to the point where it's just a regular protocol and, and the and the the fire hydrant fire hydrant. What the fuck did I just say? The fire fire people came through and they're looking for the 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 hair uh hair strainer. They didn't find anything. We got kicked the fuck out. Shy, it's not that deep, but they will never send that. You don't fucking know that. That's what I'm saying. Like, like before we even pulled up to the hotel, there was two cops just chilling there, bro, because they had to kick somebody out for fucking vaping. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, like literally, when I'm walking in the building, there's a guy that's like, hey, man, don't smoke in there, bro. They, they'll kick you out. I'm like, nah, bro. I don't worry about that, bro. I don't smoke. <laughs> it's one of those awkward laughs. I'm like, you can't relate with the guy, what he's saying, but you're just like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, aha, I don't smoke. Aha. Even like, it was aha. Like, you know, aha. Like, nah, what the fuck? So I'm like, yo, like the cops literally just came to kick somebody out over fucking vaping. And you're over here talking about something they wouldn't come. Like, are you? But I'm like, when she said, I don't think you'll ever accept me for smoking. I'm like, I don't think you'll ever accept me for social media because you've been giving me like a fucking hell for two weeks talking about some. Girl, this girl, that I don't, you don't have any time for me. You don't make any time for me. All this other shit. She constantly always told me, like, you put me on a timer. I'm like, bro, I don't put you on a timer. It's that I'm so goddamn busy that there is no time. Now, I'll be real with you. This is very transparent. If I want to make time for you, I'm going to make time for you. But that was the type of girl that I didn't want to make time for because every single time we talked, we were talking about fucking girls and shit. I don't want to talk about other girls and shit. Like, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn. It's like, so I told you, I don't think you'll ever accept me for social media. And she was like, Wow, that is two completely different things. And I said, I know. Mine holds more weight. Yours holds little weight. Because you could drop a vape. I'm not dropping social media because that's what's fucking paying for shit. Like, what the fuck I look like? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? I mean, she was like, well, um, I'll drop the vape for you. No, 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 no. Hell no. Hell no. You are not going to drop. This is all in a fucking hotel room. You're not going to drop a vape for me because 
what you're going to do, this is what I'm saying in my mind. What you're going to do is you're going to say, well, I dropped the vape for you, so um, you should drop shit for me. And exactly what she did. She gaslighted the shit on me. What she did was she was like, oh, I'll drop the vape. But if I drop the vape, I expect you to, um, whenever I say I'm going to fall asleep on FaceTime with you, I expect you to do that. Fuck no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. You're not going to just try to flip shit because you just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not just going to do that. So we're going back and forth. We're, we went back and forth for two movies. Roll Bounce and, and, and um, what's Tupac's movie? Fuck, what is Tupac's movie, man? Uh, God damn, I just can't think right now. I just can't think. But Tupac movie and, and Roll Bounce, right? I was fucking tired of going back and forth. So I went over to the little desk that they have. And I said, fuck this shit. The thing is, I already missed out a day of content. So I'm just going to answer emails to people. While I'm answering emails to people and shit, I'm posting my Instagram story. I was posting my Instagram story, a brand deal that I just got. And I was saying, thank you so much for like accepting me and all this other shit. Like, I'm so glad that, that, that right? But this is more like praise. This is not me flexing. This is not me wearing the shirt. This is literally the shirts on the ground. Just showing them what, what they are, right? All right, bet. So I posted that shit. What does she do after we just went back and forth and shit? Feeling like she's guilty and shit, whatever. She comes over and she sits on my lap. What is you doing on my lap? I don't want to even look at you right now. I'm you're, The only reason I'm still here is because I paid to be here. You know what I'm saying? She, bro, she fucking sits on my lap and she puts her head on my shoulder. And I think what she thought was going to happen was that I was going to slow down working. No, I click like even louder. Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. I didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, like literally in my mind right now, fuck you. Like you... Like, I don't give a fuck if it was $2 or $1,000. You almost just wasted my money for no goddamn reason because you wanted to get a fucking buzz. Are you fucking kidding me? You know what I'm saying? All right. So she, after she realized, like, I was not giving her attention, she was like, wow, like, are, is all you care about is business? Yep, absolutely. That's all I give a fuck about because the thing is that at least I know a business, that's just not going to, it might hold me, but the thing is it's also going to prosper me in a lot of ways as well, right? So then... After she says that, I'm already pissed off. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So I crash out too. I'm like, yo, are, get, I know you said, yo, get the fuck off of me. Like, I don't, I don't want to talk to you right now. Like, get the fuck off of me. You know what I'm saying? And, and we start going back and forth again. I'm like, yo, I'm thirsty as hell. It's time to get some something to drink, right? There is this hotel is not bougie. It don't got no continental breakfast. So, so therefore, there's no water in our thing. Is there's a there's a faucet. We could put some cup of water, drink out the faucet. But I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna go to the gas station, right? I'm like, yo, do you do you want to come with me? She says no. I said, okay, cool. Well, since you do not want to come with me, just stay here, right? And let's take a break, a breather, and let's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's get back together and shit. Okay. She's like, bet. I said, Are you sure you don't want to go with me? Yes. What do you want? I just want water. Bet that. I go over to the joint. I literally am going to the joint. I call my man's brother, just calm me the fuck down, right? But I'm taking a breather, I'm going to the gas station. I got myself sweet tarts, two Arizonas, and a water for her. Right, I pull back up. I hang, I hang up on my on my friend on my man's. Get back in the room. As soon as I get back in that bitch, she says, "So did you really need to take space for me? Are you fu-? so like literally like I'm I'm hard I'm I'm pissed the fuck off. I'm pissed the fuck off, right? Because I'm like, bro, we I, I can't get shit. Like I I dead ass can't get shit. You almost just wasted my fucking bread because you want to get a buzz, bro. Like I I can't get over that. I dead ass." Like, I, I don't give, like, y'all can call me selfish, y'all can call me arrogant. I can't get over the fact that she almost wasted our money because she was so arrogant to the point where she had to vape so bad under the smoke detector. That was the worst part. Thinking about it, like, I'm telling you right now, my brain started, like, really wrapping around what was going on. Where she was standing at, the smoke detector was right above her. So not only was she was irresponsible, she was just dumb as fuck. Like, it was just dumb as fuck. Like, it was just dumb, right? It was just stupid. It was just fucking stupid. But now she's like, wow, you really needed to, like, did no, no, no. I, I didn't need a break. I said, do you want to come with me? But you needed to take to, uh, some time. So now I'm even more mad because the time I was gone, I was gone for 15 minutes. The time I was gone, she didn't take the shit serious. She was just mad that I was mad at her. What the fuck is that? She's older than me. Like, I'm telling you, there were so many goddamn green flags that I knew this was shit was too good to be fucking true. It just was. It just really was. It was just so awkward. I was just so done with this. Like, the whole, I just wanted to fucking leave, bro. Remember, I told you, my grandmother, I told you that there was a bad intuition in my stomach. I should have left after the fucking nail shit. Like, I should have just dropped off and been like, yo, I'm sorry. Like, this shit's not going to work. Like, like hell, no, I, I, I can't fucking do this shit, you know? All right. So we go back and forth again, bro. Like again for like fucking 20, 30 minutes, right? I'm like, you know what? The one thing that we can't fuck up, we can't fuck up a movie. Let's just watch a movie. Let's just watch a fucking movie. Let's just watch a movie. Let's watch a scary movie. You feel me? I'm a huge scary movie type of guy, right? All right. 
So we're watching the scary movie, okay? In the corner of my eye, though, she was doing one of my biggest pet peeves. My biggest pet peeves, right? And my past relationship can, like, contest to this. I cannot fucking stand when, one, people talk during a movie, and, two, when you're on your phone during a movie. Because you wouldn't do that shit at a movie theater. Now, you can make the case, well, I'm at the comfort of my own home. I get that. But at the same time, also respect people that, like, like a movie theater experience. As in, like, we're watching the movie. Be respectful. I don't want to hear TikTok. I don't want to hear Instagram. I don't want to hear none of that when we're watching the fucking movie. You feel me? I don't want to hear that. All right. But she wasn't on TikTok. She was on Snapchat. And the thing about her Snapchat is that she was scrolling. Now, big piece. I'm telling y'all, things that are very important in this, like, topic, okay? I went to that desk, and I posted on my Instagram story of shirts of me saying thank you. Okay. Other key things is that she always kept on telling me about how much women shit I'm getting. All right. So, she's in the bed on Snapchat, scrolling through her memories. And she's like, what do you think about this picture? You look good. I don't know what else you want me to say. You look good. So, okay, cool. Get like a scrunch face, right? I think she was expecting to get mad. Then she was on her Instagram. She was posting that picture on her Instagram story, doing filters. What do you think about this filter shop? You look good. I could, I could just see her eyes just twitching. I think she expected me just to get mad, right? So, oh, okay, I'm about to post on my story. Go ahead. Do it. Please do it. Just do it. Just do it. I don't give a fuck. Just do it, right? She posts it. This was the craziest thing. This is what I knew. Like, women just got it, bro. She posted that thing on her story. Literally two minutes later, I think there was like 10 niggas that slid up, right? 10. Like, easy, right? Her phone just kept buzzing, right? She, she shows me her phone. In her DMs. And she says, see, you're not the only person that can get attention. Yo, that was my first time I ever looked at a girl. And I was like, yo, I don't think you understand. Like, I'm a man. Like, I I really could pick you up, throw you across the room. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, bro, are you fucking, like, serious right now? Like, I, no, the one thing that you just thought about this, this entire time is to get back at me for posting my Instagram story of shirts and receiving women's attention when I didn't, when I'm not searching for it. For you to post on your story to get attention, and then you're gonna say, See, I'm like the only person that can get attention. Are you fucking kidding me? Now, now, now I'm really pissed off. Now I'm like really ticked off, but I'm watching one of my favorite movies, so I don't really give a fuck. But at the same time, I'm like, Yo, are like, in my, my head right now, I'm like, Is this girl good? Like, is she good? You feel me? All right, so what the movie finishes, right? She She's like, Oh, I don't know, the um, oh no, the video, the, the scary stuff. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. I don't even give a fuck. I don't, I don't want to coddle you. Like, I don't, I don't care. I hope this shit is. I hope you get nightmares tonight. Like, G shit, right, bro. So, movie finally finishes, right? And and um, I answer the last second emails because the thing is, I just want this day to be over with. I've been waiting all day for this shit to be over with. So I just want this shit to be done. So therefore, I'm like, you know what? I'm finna just like answer some emails real quick and go to bed. But hold on, I gotta answer emails. She's like, um, oh, do you really need to do that right now? I'm like, yes. And then and then I'm like, damn, like I really wish I made a video today because I could make some money today for like, she hit me in my arm, right? She hit me in my arm. She's like, today's my day. I'm like, uh um, I mean, yeah, but I I still should have made videos. She was like, Wow, all you do is care about business. Fuck you. Now, I told her, and I said, what? She was like, I just don't think this is going to work out because all I care, like, all I really want is a man to know my favorite color is my favorite fucking food. <laughs> Yo, I want you to know, this is going to sound fucked up. I'm already knowing. Me knowing what your favorite color is and favorite food does not help us out at all. It does fucking nothing. Nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. Me knowing that her favorite color to wear was pink and her, no, her favorite color is pink because she got, <laughs> the only reason I know that shit is because her nails are bright as pink. Trust me, I saw her nails out there. She got out that bitch. And her favorite color to wear is black and her favorite fucking food is chicken. So, so what does me knowing your favorite color is pink 
and your favorite food, fried chicken, do for me? Nothing at all. That shit does nothing. What matters is what you like to do for fun. What matters is, like, do you want to do social media? Like, is that something that's interesting you? I would love to do social media. It sounds like really like fun. What would you want to do? Um, makeup. Okay, yeah, we could do that. We can make some side money for you because I know you don't want to work no nine to five no more. That's what I care about. What do you want to be? What do you like to do? Not your favorite fucking color. Are you kidding me? What? What? That was my last straw. I was going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it was just a bad day. Nope. I didn't give a fuck anymore. After she said, fuck you, and I want a man that cares about my favorite color and favorite food, that's when I knew. I was like, yep, no, this shit's not for me. <laughs> this shit's not for me at all. And, and, and like I said, you already tried to post just to prove to me that you can get hoes. Yo, go talk to them niggas, because maybe those niggas care about your favorite color and favorite food. I do not give a fuck about your favorite color and favorite food. I really don't. Like, I promise you, I really don't fucking care. Like, I, I don't. Now, she rolled, when she rolled over after, like, this girl had no pants on. Now, I'm talking about, like, pants or panties. She thought she was finna get some. After all that shit I just went through. Hell no. <laughs> hell no. I'm so happy. Because, bro, you... Sh- oh, my God, my blood is boiling again. That was literally the worst experience I've ever gone through when it comes to a girl. It was the worst I've ever experienced when it comes to a girl. Like, she sent me back a couple years. I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to be around nobody. I'm tired after that shit. That shit tired the shit out of me. I'm still tired. Favorite fucking color and favorite food. After you almost just got kicked the fuck out. I told her we need to be out of here by 9.30 tomorrow. Check out was at 12. We need to be out here by 9. I can't. We got in my car. No, no. We woke up. She was already up at 8 o'clock moving around, taking a shower and everything. Bet. Bet that. You are ready to go. I'm good to go too then. Get my shit. We out that door by 5. 9.15. No words have been said throughout this morning. We dropped everything off. We get in the car. I start my car. No talking. So you know what I do? I play. I don't really care if you cry. I was bumping that shit loud as as hell. I didn't care, bro. Dropped her off. Not a word. Slams my door. Usually I get mad when people slam my door. I didn't give a fuck. Slam the shit. Mo, you might as well open the door back up. and Slam that shit again. Because that's the last time you ever finna to do that shit. I drove the fuck off. Hell nah. And I'm telling you, bro, that was literally the worst experience I've ever gone through in my life. And that was in Hotel Link. I told my grandmother this story. She was like, well, you might as well go back to your ex if if you's going to have problems. I've never heard a lie. I've never heard the truth so much in my life that it sounded like a lie. She was right. If I'm finna just deal with bullshit, I might as well go back. (laughs) What the fuck? What the I Yo, I've never gone through that with her, ever. That shit right there was bullshit. And now, I don't send a single DM to women. That was the last DM I've sent. And that situation happened a month and a half ago. Yeah. I'm done. I'm good. I'm glad that y'all made it all the way here to learn about my hotel link up. Thank you guys for joining another podcast uh, with your boy Jashad. That was a lot. It was an hour. I don't know if we'll ever do an hour podcast ever again. But goddamn, that right there was a fucking headache. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Jashad SB. Follow me on everything else at Jashad. Thank you guys again. I'm about to stay. Peace.